Carol Vorderman, 61, has expressed her wishes for the Queen following news that she was under medical supervision at Balmoral, just hours before her death was announced. The countdown legend penned an emotional Twitter post in light of the news that the Queen's closest family members were travelling to Scotland to be with her. In view of her 419,000 followers, Carol told of her heartbreaking wishes for the monarch. Carol wrote, Praying for you mum to not be in pain, alongside a sad face and red heart emoji. The star's many followers flocked to the post to weigh in on the matter following Carol's wishes. As any decent person would. Not a criticism, we are with you in this, declared at Tony 8036246 of her comment. Buckingham Palace usually declined to comment on the private health matters of Her Majesty the Queen, sparking fears that they made a concerning statement about her health. Bargain Hunt was interrupted at lunchtime today for an announcement to be made on the worrying developments. It was reported that all of her children had gathered at her bedside collectively after doctors confirmed they were worried about her. An official statement read, following further evaluation this morning, the Queen's doctors are concerned for Her Majesty's health and have recommended she remain under medical supervision. Then Carol made the shock discovery along with the rest of the nation this morning that the Queen's health could be in perilous danger. The Queen's family flocked to her estate, close to Aberdeen. Prince Charles, her beloved son, arrived with wife Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, by his side. Prince Andrew is said to have arrived at Aberdeen Airport, while Prince Edward, Earl of Wessex, also appeared with his wife, Countess Sophie. Dot Prince William was also in attendance, although wife Kate Middleton remained in Windsor to be with the couple's children, who returned to school this week. The question on everyone's lips has been whether Prince Harry and wife Meghan Markle would be present at the Queen's bedside. Reports given by a spokeswoman suggest that Meghan would not accompany Harry, while he rushed to Balmoral solo. Just two days earlier, a smiling Queen had appointed Liz Truss as the country's newest Prime Minister and she was believed to have been in good health then. However, Things quickly changed, and a flurry of well-wishers joined Carol in expressing their concern. Liz Truss herself said the country would be deeply concerned by the news, adding, My thoughts, and the thoughts of people across our United Kingdom, are with Her Majesty the Queen and her family at this time. Meanwhile the Archbishop of Canterbury has stated, My prayers, and the prayers of people across the Church of England, and the nation, are with Her Majesty the Queen today. May God's presence strengthen and comfort Her Majesty, her family, and those who are caring for her at Balmoral.